And just like that, the Browns get their guy. YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, the Browns, they have signed Jadavian Clowney to a one-year deal worth up to $10 million. Now, I know initially when people hear that, they go, whoa, Browns overpaid. That guy's not worth that much. Now, key words. You got to listen. Up to. Up to $10 million. I'm sure the, the base value of the deal will come out soon, maybe even by the time we end this video. So we'll see. But they land their guy. This helps the Browns tremendously with run defense just like that. This helps the Browns tremendously with linebackers in coverage just like that. It also helps the, helps the Browns in pass rush as well. We know what Jadavian Clowney is capable of. We know it. But, of course, the biggest question with Jadavian Clowney is health. We know it. It's health. But another thing, too, that a lot of people were concerned about is, is he going to take plays off? Is he going to sort of quit on a team or whatnot? And I, I think the Browns are actually getting Jadavian Clowney at a good time, at a very good time. Because did, did he quit on the Titans last year? No, he got hurt. He got hurt. But they get a Jadavian Clowney who signed to a one-year deal. And he's on a team where he's not the best pass rusher on the squad. He's on a team where he, the Browns can use this guy in so many different ways, man. They can use him in so many different ways. You know, and you, Miles Garrett is the guy. Miles Garrett is the guy. That's, that's the guy. So Jadavian Clowney, again, less pressure on him to go out there and really have to just dominate. But, of course, you know, teams are going to be focusing and keying in on Miles Garrett so that can free up Jadavian Clowney. On his side. Ooh, this, this could be something. This could certainly be something. Um, before we get into this, real quick, team, keep it clean. Uh, make sure you tell somebody that you love them today. Make sure you tell somebody you appreciate them. Uh, and let somebody know that you're thinking about them. Check up on your people, man. Because everybody needs to be checked up on because people are going through a lot. Make sure you really consider what other people are going through in their situations. Uh, and just try to reach out and help if you can. Or, and even just a kind word. That can be one of the biggest helps to people. So just keep that in mind throughout the day. Um, but back to Jadavian Clowney. Uh, this, again, one-year deal. One-year one, one year deal for Jadavian Clowney. So this is literally the meaning of a prove-it deal. Prove what's up. Prove to us why, even though we wanted to sign you last year, prove to us why we should have done that. Prove to us that you're going to rock out with us. Prove to us that you deserve a, a significant raise after this season. Prove it. Show us. Now, Jadavian Clowney, how's this going to work with training camp, with OTAs? You got to assume, unless the Browns are one of the other teams that end up opting out of the, the voluntary practices or whatever, but you got to assume once things get a little more normal, and they're getting there, but you got to assume that with Jadavian Clowney signing now on April 14th that he's going to take part in all of that. You, you got to assume that because – Opposed to, or unlike last year, when he waited till like the very end of the offseason to sign with the Titans, he's doing it now. He's doing it before the draft. He's doing it uh, before, before all of that stuff, before OTA, before minicamp, before training camp, before all of that stuff. He's doing it before, before everything starts. So you got to feel like he's already sort of in that team player state of mind. So that's a positive for the Browns. That's a positive right there. Now, of course, actions speak louder than words. And while we haven't heard Jadavian Clowney say anything, his actions thus far with him signing the contract show that, hey, he appears to be all in. Now, another thing with him signing the contract, uh, it maybe he knew, too, that after the draft, every free agent out there, especially at the pass rush position, their value would drop. Their value would drop. Because you got these young guys coming in, these young hungry guys, and these young cheaper guys. They're cheaper. Browns wouldn't have to pay a one-year up to $10 million deal for a rookie. No, they wouldn't do that. So with Jadavian Clowney, he knew it, he had to strike while, he, while things were hot. He had to strike while things were hot. And you know that he's got to have last year on his mind, too. And I don't mean to keep bringing up the past, but in this situation, you almost have to. Because last, I mean, and last year, the deal was more. I think last year when he signed with the Titans, it was, it was either a one-year $12 million or a one-year $14 million deal. 
So he knows that his value has dropped. In the year that he had, his values definitely dropped. I honestly didn't think, and I mean the Browns, technically they didn't give him that, but they, um, I was going to say I didn't think that he was going to get double digits. And he didn't. He got a, a one-year deal worth up to $10 million. Worth up to. So, once the, again, once the base of it comes out, I'm sure by the time y'all see the video, it'll be out. So, his salary, it took a dip from last season to this season. Uh, but now he gets a chance to really show his stuff. And he is going to be in a very, very, uh, and again, we know that a lot of the physicality in football has been taken out. But he's going to be in a very, very tough division. A very, very physical division. And a very, very personal division. Like, again, you got the Browns, who he signed to. You got the Steelers. You got the Bengals. You got the Ravens. <laughs> Jadavian Clowney, uh, hey, come through, man. Come through. I I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what he does in the AFC North. Because he's played in the AFC South. For the majority of his career, because, of course, he was with the Texans for the majority of his career. Um, and, and then he went to the Seahawks for that quick stint. Um, and it was physical over there, too. Uh, and then he went back to the AFC South with the Titans. But now he's in the AFC North. And, oh, yeah, it's it's a different story over here. And, and then, like, it's crazy because <laughs> with it's like with Ravens, it's, it feel like Ravens, like, they have the most respectful rivalries out of all of them. Like, with Ravens and Steelers, it's respect. With Ravens and Browns, it's respect. Uh, with, with Bengals, right now, they're at the bottom of the barrel. But they on the come up. They on the come up. And, of course, it, it was unfortunate when Joe Burrow went down with that uh, season-ending injury last year. But with the Browns and the Steelers, it, it seems like it ain't respected. Like, it's, it's, a, it's animosity. It's, it's all of that stuff, man. They, they really go, and it's like extra personal. Like, it's personal in the AFC North, but it was the Steelers and the Browns, it's extra personal. So, Jadavian Clowney gonna have to be ready for that fight, man. And especially with everything that's transpired over the past couple of years, with the Steelers and the Browns especially. Of course, last year, they, they, they battled each other three times. And you remember I, that, that first game, I think the Steelers, they beat up on Baker Mayfield. Oh, they beat him up nasty. They beat him up nasty. And then at the end of the season, the, uh, the, the, the Browns end up beating the Steelers. And then, of course, there was that clip where uh, Eric Ebron was like, oh, we ain't want to play the Ravens. We lost on purpose because we ain't want to play the Ravens. Y'all can look it up. I forgot on which podcast it was on. But then the playoffs came around, and the Browns just absolutely, they, they just smacked the Steelers. They smacked them. And it, it was ugly. It, like, it was na like from jump, it, it started getting really nasty. But it's person, and then of course two years ago, we remember the whole Miles Garrett and Mason rule. <laughs> oh, that mess! Oh, that was wild. But Jadavian Clowney can now take part in those battles. So we'll see how he does, man. I, I am um I, I am genuinely uh, looking forward to this to seeing Jadavian Clowney because y'all know I'm a, I'm a fan of Jadavian Clowney. I wanted him on my team. I've been wanting him on my team for years, but of course it hasn't happened. Um, and now my team will face Jadavian Clowney two times a year. Two times a year. So that should be fun, man. So may the best team win when it's all said and done. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. Appreciate y'all team. Keep it clean. Like I said, make sure you check up on your people, man, because they need it. We out.